and rest. Hands in the air! Hey, show me your hands! Hands! Let me see your hands. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you by the state. You understand these rights as have been explained to you. Hold still. Some paper. Everybody gets what they want. <laughs> Anyways. The point is, there are other doctors out there curing cancer with their own treatments. And I think that I can get you out of here, but I need your story. The court has my story on transcript. Yeah. <laughs> the court, um, they charged you with malpractice, unethical experimentation, and manslaughter. Their account is not going to help you. My expose will. Do you plan to bring me out of here with an expose? A doctor discovers a cure for cancer, and the government sends her to prison. Would it help if I told you that I know people? Oh. Kind of people. I can't tell you that. You're gonna have to trust me. What if I don't? Trust you. Susan. You helped save my life. And now you're in here. Come in. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? She started having a hard time breathing in the taxi and said it had something to do with too much caffeine. Okay, right here. Okay, Jewel. Talk to me. How many pills have you had? What pills? Okay. Blacking out. We need to get her on a monitor. Should I call 911? We need to get fluids in her. Can you get her a glass of water from the kitchen? Hang in there, Jewel. There we go. Here. Thank you. What's happening to her? Possible caffeine overdose with tachycardia. You know what? I'm calling an ambulance. There's no time. Caffeine overdose is like meth. Every second counts. We need to get this top off. So I assume you've done this before then? Many times. Right? Left. This may be alarming. Clear! Unbelievable. <laughs> We need to do this one more time. Okay. Right, left, <gasps> clear. <gasps> We're good. We're good. Let's say your expose gets released. You print the names of all of my patients. Yeah, uh, pseudonyms never work. You can't act like you're hiding something. You lose the people. Everyone has a right to their privacy. Is their privacy more important than your freedom? Your cure? Hmm. 
What are you still doing here? It's okay, honey. I just want to talk to her. Can you give us a minute, please? Please. I'll be outside. Since incriminated. Thank you for your time. I'm sure you'll find your expose elsewhere. marijuana patients help you pay for it? I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. I think you're gonna pay me some money so I don't say anything to the Dean. I gotta say you're pretty lucky to have Dr. Rothberger as your oncologist. I don't know many doctors who are so kind or attentive. Anyway, uh, if you need anything, let the nurse know. Otherwise, I'll be back in a little bit to check on you after we get the rest of your blood work, okay? Thank you. You're her oncologist? Grace, I was gonna tell you. When did it come back? So what do you think? Are you kidding me? She's testing on cancer patients with illegal drugs. She's going down. I know you. You're Gloria's oncologist. Has she got cancer? When is one of you going to tell me what's going on here? Time's up, Rothberger. Take care of yourself. Yeah. See you next week. 